RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now ChurchMilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. ChurchMilitant.tv. Join us in combat, become a premium member today. Hello everyone and welcome to this special report Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. If you haven't had a chance to read the officially unofficial response coming from the offices of the Archdiocese of New York in response to the scandalous situation of Barack Obama being invited to the Al Smith dinner, well you shouldn't miss it. It's a real laugher. We've attached a link for your amusement. Frankly, there is so much wrong within those few paragraphs it's hard to know where to even begin. But let's start with an even larger point, the sort of 30,000 foot overview. The author of the message, Ed Mechmum, our apologies if we're pronouncing your name wrong, Ed, maintains that these are his opinions only and not those of the Archdiocese of New York. <laughs> Please, he's an employee of the Archdiocese, he's a rather high-ranking one at that. He is posting his comments on the Archdiocese of New York's blog. Does he expect us to believe, seriously, that whatever he says is just his own personal opinion and that's it, that the rules which govern the Archdiocese of New York's own blog page are that any employee can jump on and write whatever he wants? So, is an employee free to write their own personal opinion on the Archdiocese of New York's blog page that our Blessed Mother wasn't conceived immaculately, that the homosexual priest sex abuse crisis wasn't really that big of a deal? that our Lord really isn't present in the Eucharist? Come on. It's insulting su to suggest that this isn't in some fashion a sanctioned response from within the walls of the Archdiocese of New York Chancery. Of course it is. There's no way that Mechman simply hopped on the website of his boss and babbled on about his own personal feelings without one of his superiors approving it. If it did happen that way, then we have another Vatty Leaks scandal on our hands. Bottom line, an employee, important, an employee from the Archdiocese of New York got approval from one of his superiors, another employee, at the Archdiocese of New York to post a response on the webpage owned and operated by the Archdiocese of New York. How in any meaningful way is this not a response from the Archdiocese of New York? Because it didn't issue forth from the Holy Office and the inner sanctum of the high-ranking communications director? Hmm, please. No matter how you slice it and dice it, this is the official, unofficial response from the Chancery. Period. And for them to deny it, or pretend that it isn't, is to insult the reader and cast themselves in the light of being duplicitous and, well, just downright sneaky. Now to some of the content. Meckman builds a case for Obama being invited by, oddly enough, trying to distance the Archdiocese from the Al Smith dinner itself. Sidebar here, if the Archdiocese really doesn't have much to do with the event, then why is an employee of the Archdiocese writing on the official Archdiocesan page about it? Is the Archdiocese in the habit of paying employees to write their own personal opinions on its page about things with only a passing relation to the Archdiocese? There's a good job. Meckman strains to, strains to say the event really isn't a church event because it's administered by the Al Smith Foundation, not the Archdiocese. Again, police! What he fails to tell you is that on the board itself of the Al Smith Foundation sits Cardinal Timothy Dolan, as well as Auxiliary Bishop Dennis Sullivan, the Vicar General of the New York Archdiocese. To try and posit an argument that there is some healthy separation between the Foundation and the Archdiocese is insulting. The money raised by the dinner goes to support the Archdiocese Catholic Charities. The primary figure at the dinner is the Cardinal Archbishop of New York. The Foundation's Board of Directors has seats occupied by the two highest ranking clerics from the Archdiocese, and the Archdiocese heavily promotes the dinner and benefits greatly from it. How is this not an event closely associated with the Archdiocese? To suggest otherwise would be akin to suggesting that the Archdiocese of New York's official blog hosts nothing more than the mere opinions of its employees without any approval from superiors. <laughs> right. Meckman's entire response is really a case of what is not said, information withheld, as well as what is implied or suggested by innuendo. If the Archdiocese doesn't really have much to do with this in any official capacity, 
the implication being that the Al Smith Foundation just went ahead and did this on their own, then why in the past did then Cardinal John O'Connor of New York refuse to allow pro-abortion Bill Clinton to attend? Did the then Cardinal O'Connor have veto power back in 1996? And the board has since revoked that veto power. So now, so now Cardinal Dolan is handcuffed and can't object. Does this mean that if the Al Smith Foundation decided to invite, let's say, the head of Planned Parenthood and George Soros, would be, which would be quite the headliner, that the archdiocese could say nothing? Again, please, no one is sitting at that table of honor without the signed, sealed approval of the cardinal himself, and everyone knows it. To suggest otherwise is insulting the intelligence of whoever is being spoken to. For Meckman to try and paint the picture, as he does, that all the cardinal does is just show up and say the opening and closing prayer is beyond ludicrous. There's so much wrong not only in the presentation of these arguments, but the larger context they're presented in is that, is that we can't address all of them in this one vortex without making it 97 minutes long. So we're going to continue tomorrow, but we think it's worth pointing out a couple of things first. One, at the end of his original post yesterday, Meckman invited comments. But the flood of comments pouring into the blog site, all of them, every single one of them, saw right through the flimsiness of the Archdiocese's response. Oh, excuse me, unofficial response. And we can cut through the games here. This was the Archdiocese's response, but done in a very cute and clever way. Too clever by half. The higher-ups at the Chancery didn't want to stick their necks out, it would appear, so they got someone else not as closely associated with the usual power brokers and used him to float their silly defense as a sort of trial balloon. Well, that balloon went <laughs> As a reminder, we've also attached a link to our petition asking the Archdiocese and the Cardinal to rescind this scandalous invitation. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. ChurchMilitant.tv Join us in combat, like us on Facebook.